are you really going to let him share your food? I mean, that's sweet and kind and all, but I don't think that he would do the same for you. I know that shows your heart. But what makes him think that that's okay? Don't you hurt my girl. Look at Dixie. So this is where I'm going to do exactly what I said I was going to do. And I'm just going to go in the stall. This is how I know that something's wrong. Those Longhorns aren't afraid of her right now. Normally, she takes complete control and has dominance and they don't even think about looking at her food bowl. But they're thinking about it for sure. What's with y'all? Yeah, tell them, Dixie, tell them to move along. I don't like this at all. Look at how intimidating he's trying to be. And I'm not about to go interrupt or anything because, you know, she's certainly more powerful than I am, but uh, that's never happened before. I don't get it. I guess because it's the last bit of food and she ate last this time instead of the normal hierarchy, but. Oh, he just bumped Pearl in the booty and was like, move along, Pearl. Jeez, everything's green out here. There's plenty of hay and everybody got plenty of grain, but they all wanna sit here and just be ornery to each other tonight. Not cool guys, not cool. Start playing nice in the sandbox. Starting with you, sir. She doesn't wanna share food with you. I assure you of that. Dixie, don't you give in to him. Don't you give in to him. I'm backing up to play it safe, but this is uh, something I haven't seen before. And I don't enjoy it, actually. Look how close he's getting to her. He thinks he's gonna share food with Dixie. I'm seeing something, Beverly, good call on coming away from that. Are you really gonna let him share your food? I mean, that's sweet and kind and all, but I don't think that he would do the same for you. I know that shows your heart. What makes him think that that's okay? Because... <laughs> that was clever, Dix. She's like, he can take the bowl. I'll empty it out right here and I'll eat off the ground. Tex? She's a good girl, but I don't know if she's that good to you. How clever. She dumped that food bowl out and was like, here, have the bowl. The bowl, not the bowl. Have the bowl. I'll sit here and eat the food and you can sit around here and mess around. And he's over here drooling over the food. I can't believe what I'm watching right now. Everyone else has finished eating already. And I was grooming Dixie, as you can see around her. So she actually ended up eating last. Which I guess prompted Tex to be like, I'll oh, see if I can win her over. And Dixie's like, I'm smarter than you, dude. Like, way far smarter than you. I know that you are, like, somewhat embarrassed right now. And I gotta give you props for trying. But I don't... She's kind of in charge here, okay? Horses kind of take rank. Most of the time. And I know that you've seen her be bullied. And I'm a survivor by the other horses. But you're still a longhorn bull. Not another horse. You're not top horse. Don't you hurt my girl. Look at Dixie. Good girl. Good girl, Dixie. Good girl. He really thought that he was going to win. He thought for sure that he was like, you know, she's not feeling her best right now. I could probably get an edge with this. And isn't that incredible how animals can sense when another one is not 100%. And she's like, 100% or not, I'm still smarter than you. And I am definitely, definitely above you when it comes to this pasture. Sorry, Tex, it's true girl or guy, 
horses are going to go ahead and be on top of the uh, hierarchy as much as you don't want that to be true. I know this is called Longhorn Lester's Ranch and your text, the Longhorn, but Dixie is a powerhouse and as sweet as she appears and as kind and gentle and soft-hearted and empathetic and all of those things, she's still in charge and she's not gonna take any crap, not from you and not from anybody. And that is what people love about her. She doesn't have to be boastful or braggart or run around taunting and teasing or hooping and hollering or any of those things. She can do so in the most subtle of ways and still lead and still remain herself. There's a lot to be said about that, sir. You can take some lessons. And so can your women. Don't you look at me now. Don't you dare look at me like I'm an opportunity here. Because I'm not. It turns out that I'm smarter than all y'all. And I will run to the barn and go hang out in a stall to hide from you. That's true. I have to tell you, I'm super proud of this girl. She doesn't feel her best. She's uh, a little under the weather right now. But she didn't get mean. She didn't yell. She didn't make a big fuss or a scene or try to make sure that everybody knew that she was still in charge when one person tried to question it. She silently dumped it out, got a little bit smarter, and then as he walked a little bit closer, she just gave it one little swoop of the foot of like, mm-mm, no, and moved on. And now I'm watching Pearl over here try to sneak up as well and think that she might have a chance. She's like, hey, we're friends, we're cool, we're, you know, we get along and all those things. <laughs> oh, he's gonna try again. Trixie, I wouldn't do that. Now the food is almost gone and her face isn't in the bowl. So Dixie's like, yeah, have an empty bowl. It's fine. Totally fine. I'm still not moving. Ooh, Tex. Oh, why are you coming towards me now? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't like this game. I don't like this game at all. Now, I do have a container of treats in my hand here, which he probably thinks that he should have some of. So I'll throw some out, let him have some. They're not what he wants, they're horse treats. Yeah, they're not cubes or grain. I have nothing for you. So this is where I'm gonna do exactly what I said I was gonna do. And I'm just gonna go in the stall. I can't believe this is happening right now. <clears throat> I'm out here making a video. And you think you're going to run me completely away and be fearful of you? Well, you are correct, sir. I am fearful of you. I am not stupid. This is why women live longer. I will not challenge you and will not see if, if you'll stand down to my power. No, I'll just come here and hide out in the barn until you're gone. Meanwhile, you know who didn't move? That girl right there. No, she didn't move. But, uh, I guess he's just going to move on from feed bin to feed bin to see if there's any extra grain in there for him because somebody was eating longer than him and that was just really uncommon. Yeah. Oh, now you're going to play this game too? You're going to follow him around? All while I'm locked in the bull stall. That's great. That's just great. It sure is a pretty night. We got a lot of standing water out here that didn't make its way to the pond yet, so we got to figure out that drainage stuff. But yeah, here I was out here just doing some grooming, and all of a sudden, somebody decided they were going to give pushing the limits a try. That's what we'll call this. Tex, pushing the limits. Santana, don't you even get naughty. You better be a good girl. All these longhorns think they can come out here and take charge. I know that Dixie would have my back in a pinch, but 
at the same time, I'm not going to risk anything. I will run and hide in a stall every time <laughs> that's necessary because I just, it's no joke. They are 2,000 pound animals with a lot of power and a lot of, um, I don't want to say instability, but unpredictability. And there's no need to take that risk. That would be foolish. Meanwhile, guess who still hasn't moved? Yeah. Taking a stand. And that's just me too. Taking a stand right here in the bull stall. <laughs> I might have to call Lester to come get me on the side by side. Yeah, that's gonna happen.